wanted to ask you, what do you think about the lesson? What do you think about the coaching? Oh, it was awesome. That was like uh, way, way, way more like in detail and like comprehensive than I ever thought coaching was. Like I said, I've seen a lot of coaching videos and that wasn't at all what I see people pay for, like in different coaches that just like walk them through the game. Like that was actually like, you know, looking at my game and like analyzing like every little detail that I'm doing incorrectly. So that's like exactly what I was looking for and I'm super happy with it. Did you ever thought about getting coached by me? Did you ever get coached by me and you eventually wanted to book more hours? Nothing better. This week my brand Besides is celebrating 4 years of experience of coaching where I will give special offers for my coaching. From today on my website I will have discounts up to 25%. The slots are limited as this is going to be only 10 packages sold with the discounts. This is the best time to book a coaching session. First come, first serve. Do you want to take advantage of this limited offer? Do you want to benefit of it? What are you waiting for? Go ahead and book your session to claim your slot before someone else takes it. I'll see you in the session. I believe the last four were not. I think the the MF game, um, the MF game where I built Chainsword, I'm pretty sure I was solo. He had, okay. yeah, he was going. Yeah. Okay, and are you planning to still play with this guy like duo, or do you want to play solo? How how is the no, dynamic no. going to be? He he um he's going back to work. It's just my buddy that I know, and we've always kind of been the same elo. But he he had a week off, so we we were just doing a lot. But he's not going to be able to. He ended up going back tonight, and that's why I've been playing solo for the last part of today. And mm. that's that'll how it, that's how it'll continue. Okay, that sounds good. Perfect. So we have our goals right here. So you said that you want to get uh, so go to get better so I can climb this season. I want to get diamond two. Okay. So you basically want to get diamond two. Um, as uh on Thresh, I normally ban Morgana. Is that a good? That's a good ban. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. For sure. I used to ban Wukong, but Wukong got nerfed. I don't think he's that good anymore. I guess. Yeah. He's he's okay. But that that's all. Oh, you wanna trash? Let's go man! And vain, this is so awesome. And also Trash is good in the Jace. We have Lee Scene. So I'll give you the game plan, Jordan. I will I will uh, show you how to do it. So for now we have a Lee Scene in the jungle, so you can always play with this guy. Oh and a Draven. So uh, remember what I did with the Herald? Never do it with Draven. Like you have to stay with him and play for 2v8. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So unless your your wave allows you to do to go for roms, uh, definitely should play with this guy. Um, you can take anything that you're very comfortable with. Yeah, I would go the same. So you can actually get uh, mobility boots. Futures market is good. You can get it faster. Then Hex the Flesh is going to help you a lot if you want to win the lane harder. So the runes are awesome. So for this game, step number one win condition. The most important thing is getting Draven ahead. Obviously, he's Draven. He wants to play really aggro. He wants to, to do stuff on the lane. They have Liwana and Vayne, so you can definitely run them down really hard. We could start with Q. If you see that the, the Draven has two axes and he can go in, you can start with Q. Otherwise, he is, he is much better. Vayne doesn't have heal, which is awesome for you. If Draven doesn't get ahead and if it's going to be bad or things are going to go wrong in the lane, you can always go with your Lee Sin, because it's obviously it's Lee Sin, it's a very good uh, league game jungle. And it's also against mm -hmm. Talia, which means we can actually kill her very easy. Mid matchup, it's Kassadin. In addition to that, getting the Kassadin behind is really, 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 really good as well. Because he's not going to scale, so you have a lot of win conditions. Draven, get, get Draven fed, if it doesn't work. We go with Lee Sin. If it doesn't work, we look for mid -roms. Perfect flash. She couldn't dodge in that angle. And you have excess flash. Yep. Awesome, Jordan. Awesome. I will let you play right now. Good luck and fun on it. Okay.
See? Shouldn't really go for the auto attacks there. Really, man! Really! Oh my god. Montage. Montage. So there I wouldn't really go for auto attacks on the Talia. Why? It's because if you do that, then she can actually longer the distance between her and you. Which means she can actually dodge the hook if she wants it. Okay, just going for the leash here and then going on the laney phase. Hopefully you're not going to hit any abilities. Yeah, so there you shouldn't really auto attack the Talia because by hitting her, she's going to like longer the distance between you and her. And then at some point, you're not going to have the range for the hook. So instead of hitting her and run running towards her, you should just literally stay next to her and make sure she doesn't get off, uh, out of the hook range. All right, now you get the experience. Just chilling. Let's see what they're going to do. Uh, the hook level 1 is definitely, like, if you hook at level 1, it's definitely bad because, I mean, Draven doesn't have 2 axes yet. You should look to hit the minions right here. This is not uh, not good, exactly. We should look to hit minions for level 2. I really dislike that you don't really try to get level 2 here. Because you would be able to get level 2. So I don't like, I don't know why I actually gave up the level 2. Because, yes, he lost experience, but, I mean, it doesn't matter because if you, if you get level 2 advantage, then Liwana can't do anything because it's trash, right? Oh shit. Wait, this is Zoe! Zoe is roaming level- Wait, what? Nah, man. Nah, man. Just crazy. That, that's just crazy. Yeah, could have played it better right there. We missed up mechanically. Definitely rusty mechanics. Rusty mechanics. See what they're going to do right here. Very nice hook. I really like the try. She doesn't really have condemn. I want you to get the melees right here. They give you more gold than the range minions. So we can just go for boots and potion here if we if we recall. Or if Draven decides to, to stay here, we can also stay to pressure. We do not know where is the enemy jungle, so definitely need to keep that in mind. It shouldn't really be a problem because Talia uh, with... Uh, the vein setup here is like pretty weak. And you like Liwana is also really weak in terms of engaging against Trash. But you still wanna be careful. Yeah, you wanna stay right next to your AD carry so you can actually flay the Liwana. Yeah, we don't know where is the Talia. I really like your positioning, I like that you play Lantern here. It's quite smart. Oh, you didn't really either. I would E just in case, you know, I would just flay, flay her out just in case she hits it. Because you never know how the hitbox works. So that's why. You should ping him to not recall right here. This is really stupid. Yeah, you should ping him. Nah. Like right now, why would he recall this way? Why would he recall without pushing? Right? It's okay base, but it could have been better if he pushes first. And right here you should go towards him and give him lantern. Basically. He's coming in the laney phase, so yeah. Perfect lantern. You could have used it with Hextash Flash. Like your lantern and then he start your Hextash Flash, so then when he picks up the lantern, you just uh, you just uh, like you know teleport him with you as well. You can stay here even if you have some gold. We cannot go in because we don't know where is the Talia. So be very careful. Be very careful. You can pressure like this. You can walk up and like so on. But you do not want to play too aggro. Right now Lee Sin is in the brushes. So we could look for a hook here. For sure. Can also have flash on them. You have to throw the hook from the brush. Oh. So if you throw the... Br oh, really? Okay, you could have played it much better here. So you should, first of all, you should throw the hook from the brush. Second of all, you shouldn't re recast your Q. You should just like try to E instantly. I'll show you in a game right now. Put Lantern. Just probably going to take it right there. Oh. We have the E. The one is super useless against Thresh. So far, so good. So far, so good. Wave is coming into you, do not let them recall. If you get the cannon here, uh, you can just get the mobility boots. I hope you're going to recall very soon. I mean, Zoe is behind them, so you can consider staying. 
I don't like your camera controller here. Your camera control should be on Zoe and you should go around. Yeah, very slow. Very, very slow. Get this and go around. Yeah. Perfect. Good, we do have the W. Try to use it for assist. Oh my god, that hook. Double Lee. Nice play. Nice play. Not going to get him, but it's okay. Or. Oh, he misses it. Yeah, we can stay in this position because Draven is with us. Okay. Recall, I have mobility boots. He's fine. Well, if it was me, I would stay with him to get the plate and then I would recall. Right now, there is no way he's going to really die. And even if you throw, even if you hit the hook, you're not going to kill him. So here, you should help him push and then he should recall. Because you have a lot of gold, so you want to recall, but at the same time, you do not want to let him alone. Yes, push and recall. I really like that you're pinging him. Yeah, but you should stay next to him right here. Yeah, this is so bad, then gets a kill. Yeah, you should always stay next to him. Yeah, we're just dead. You have to be very careful with those decisions, because we can definitely lose the game with this. Oh, this scene is... Uh, crazy. Okay. Zoe with Dark Harvestman. Yeah, mobility boots is good always because I mean obviously you can snowball. I do not like that you actually get ooh. So first of all, getting Ruby, Ruby Crystal is much better because the flat HP is going to help you against both magic resist and uh, against both ability power damage and physical damage. So HP is like a lot more valuable because Liwana does AP damage, but at the same time Vayne does true damage. So getting armor is bad. Let alone the fact that this is a good decision, by the way, with the pathing. Very, very good pathing and very good thing that you adapted to go on the bot lane. So yeah, you should always, almost always get Ruby Crystal. In addition of that, you should never get to Pinkers at this point in time. It's really, really bad because you're delaying your power spike of Locket. Your support, you don't get access to money, you don't get access to resources. So if you're getting two Pinkers, it's even going to be worse, my man. So only one pink ward, I use this rule, I only buy one pink ward at a time, like at every single base, uh, unless I have my locket completed. If you have the locket completed, you can always buy, you know, two. But if, if you don't have locket, avoid buying too many controllers. And I would never buy two if I have one already. That's good that you recall, you have 500 gold, you do have the mobility boots, you're recalling at the same time with your Draven, this is fine. Ruby Crystal, and then you just go, you should throw the Lantern to the to the Draven. You should path towards mid here, not towards uh, Herald. I like that you're trying to gank mid uh, on that angle, but since Lee Sin is uh, fighting, yeah, you should have been there, you should have path there. Yeah, right now it's a bit too late, and the Castle then just got the shutdown, so that's not good. That's not good. And also the fact that you're leaving the Draven is not good. Yes, you want to get the Herald. Yes, you would like to play around top lane, but unfortunately you can't because you have a Draven, a champion that is designed to play ultra aggressive and that obviously you need to stay around him because if you don't stay around him, he's just going to... Ooh, 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 okay. Okay, no problem. We're going to talk about the replay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, there you should just flay. He was dead anyways. You should not look to flash. You should flay, ulti, and then hook. But again, the Rome was bad. Because look at this. If Draven, if the, the Liwana had a brain, she could have dove the Draven. And if she gives the, the Vayne another shutdown to, uh, on the Draven, it's so bad, right? So this is why the Rome wasn't really the best there. I would help the Draven push first before going for the pink ward because you wanted to get, you see, right now you can't get minions. You can just only get like maybe two. Yeah, you should like first help Draven get the minions in and then just look for vision after. Okay, he's playing around the Herald. This is very, very bad. Oh my god, this is very bad. Like you should ping them. It's good that we run away. Like if, if Listen is top and he's doing Herald, I mean, that's fine. Just let him do Herald. I hope you're going to max Lantern here. I don't think you should max the Q. Uh, you get a little bit of a cooldown, but I mean, you don't really need cooldown on the Lantern. I mean, it's oh, it's oh no, sorry, on the hook. Usually, if you want to protect someone and you think that they have a lot of engage and the fact that you have the hook 
cooldown and you have hook more often helps you then you can definitely go five points in e eq but in this case i don't think it's needed because the liwana it's so easy to to play against liwana and castle only by flaying and having more lanterns so normally if it was me i would almost always go three points in, e in q max w or just max w instantly because on trash there are a lot of situations where on trash you just uh, put three points in q max w or you just max w straight away or you put two points in E or three points in E and then you max Q. Like there are so many situations. For example, uh, in this situation, I feel like you will need Lantern a lot. So three points in Q is still okay because obviously the cooldown, they have Cassidy, they have Liwana. You need the cooldown to protect Draven. You need the cooldown of the hook. But, but uh, I would still like go for the Lantern uh, a little bit uh, early. <laughs> And also in addition to that, on Thresh, you need ability haste, you need cooldown, you need HP. So going for the edges is really bad. That's, uh, that used to be good like four seasons ago, three seasons ago, um, but it's not anymore. Like you should go for Kindle Gem, basically. So we do have a problem with itemization, I can see. Yeah, interesting. So you should basically go for a Kindle Gem and then edges and then build the locket. Obviously, that's after the boots. Very good word. Pretty deep as well. I would also put the word like right here over the wall, like over the Drake wall. Okay, you're staying with Draven. You should be with the Lee Sin right now in this position. Yeah, so pretty unlucky that when you should stay with Draven, you're not staying with Draven, you're going top. And when you shouldn't stay with Draven, you're, you're staying with Draven. That's very... So definitely, your macro should be should be improved if you want to get more than like the D4, D3. Okay, we have the Herald. Walking up. Chilling. Have the hook here. If needed. Probably going to hit once. Yeah. Hits once. Yeah. Decent, but kind of useless, really. That tower is never going to be, never going to get access to that tower. Liona has even shroud, so I don't think you win this at all. You you really have to like recall. Oh, let's see the hook. Oh, you waited so much actually. I think they're going to. So there, if if uh, the sleep just procs, you just instantly hook. He waited a little bit too much and he could have costed you if Liwana has flash. Because you wouldn't get the, the vein anyways there. Because he waited too much. So remember that there when she's like falling, the guy's falling asleep, just, just throw the hook. When you see the, the target is stunned, just throw the hook. You probably wanted to get an angle so you can actually get vein still. But you should still be happy with Liwana. Because I mean obviously she's going to tank the hook. So you should aim for vein, but be happy to get Liwana if that makes sense. I think Zoe is going to be fine. I don't know what's with this meta. Zoe plays a lot with Dark Harvest. And I don't think it's good. No, it's not. Is it? No, it's not. Okay. 
good. Going mid lane, then going to bot lane. Oh shit, you're going to two points in E. That's so bad. That's only good in early game. That's really good in early game if you put like at level 3, you know. Or not the 3, at level 4. If you put two points in E so you can get more passive damage and more slow. It's decent. But in almost every situation the, the R is like much, uh, the W is much better. Maxing the W late game. He's fine in like very early stages of the lane. Yeah, this game is extremely difficult. The Lee Sin falls off. Draven falls off. Irelia falls off. We have to see. We really have to see what you're going to do here. I don't know. It really feels like you, you already lost this game. Because of the macro. So we have to talk about all of those things basically. Good. Right now. Wait, you're not tearing two pink orbs? No! <laughs> you should get two pink orbs right now because, I mean, you have the locket already, you have the power spike already, and we're going to be able to play around Nashur. So when you should get two point pink orbs, you're not getting two pink orbs, and when you shouldn't get two pink orbs, you're getting. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Oh my god. Okay, let's see what you're going to do. So we get the Herald. Where should we put this? I mean, we can just put it on mid and try to get in him. It's good that we still have pressure in the jungle. Problem is that Vayne is huge, Cassadin is going to be huge, so we need to end the game within 5-6 to six minutes, I think, it's uh, like maximum. Because Lee Sin is unplayable against Vayne later on, Irelia is unplayable later on against Vayne, so we really can't play the game. And also Talia is like a really good champ. Very good lantern, lock it if needed. Get ready. Okay. You can always put the locket also. Yeah, like this. You should place the R first there. Yeah, I could have played it a bit differently here. So there you could have just ulti first to make sure you get the slow on them. And then if Kazadin still keeps going, you can just throw the hook. Could have played much better. We get in hit mid, so it's not uh It's not the end of the world. Ooh. No, okay. So, so far, I think that your macro and how you actually understand the game at a very deep level, that should be improved. Uh, also, the mechanics are holding you back a lot, missing a lot of E's, missing a lot of Q's. Uh, but this is going to come with practice, so I, I'm not concerned with this. I know you're a main trash, and I know how hard it is to be consistent on trash if you don't consistently play him. So, no problem. I, I feel you. You're so what now? What should we do? Well, it's very simple. You should protect the your backline, Draven and Zoe. Like basically, she's going to try to poke before the fight. You need to always be ready to like W her and try to E Liwana out. So you're not really going to look to hook aggressively because I mean you don't really have any CC other than your hook and you know maybe bubble, but that's pretty much all. So you all what you have to do is protect Draven and Zoe from Liwana and Kasdin. That's basically it. This is easy. Let's see how we're going to play it. Please use your E first. Okay, not possible here. Let's see. E. E. Nice, nice, nice. Yes, you played the bad still there. So, in those kind of situations, you should EQ instantly. Even though you're not sure that you're going to hit. Even if you're not sure it's going to hit, you should just EQ. Because you can't have a higher chance of hitting the hook a higher chance than the one that you have when you're slowing him with slow with the slow of the E and you're slowing him with the slow of the glacial augment you cannot have a higher chance than that so that's why pro players when you see them after they play the insta hook because in this situation if you are just keeping the hook and you're saving the hook you might actually lose one or two seconds seconds that vein Vayne should use to actually get a kill on Draven. So be very careful. There, EQ if it's an urgent situation. It's okay to keep the, the, the hook to, you know, predict the flash or something if you know your Draven is fine. But in that situation, since Vayne was really strong, you didn't know, you couldn't know like what, like how much damage he's capable of doing.
I still think the game is like really hard. We're lucky that we we got a lot of objectives here, and I think we're like three or four k up. Nice try to ping. I would also put the word like over the wall, over the pit, like over the Drake wall. Yeah, I think from this point the game is just hard. I mean, we have Draven and we have Aurelia, so there is still, ho still hope. But I have to play like flawlessly. Because Vayne with, with uh, Ghost, she is really strong. She is really strong, really. And then at this point in time, what you can do, you can al also... You can also sell your boots for cooldown reduction boots or even plated, but I think cooldown reduction boots are better here so you can throw more spells on, on the Cassidin and on the Liwana. So you can throw throw like more hooks. Montage? W -w 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 oh we missed it. Fuck man. Oh my god. Man, if you max the lantern, I think you get this. Fuck. And we also missed the lantern, like, I think you could have used the, so if you use the lantern properly there, like instantly, on the Aurelia, and you get it like perfect timing, and you had max your W, so you can get less cooldown, I think that you can actually use the, 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 the W two times in the fight. And this obviously would make the difference. Okay, this is in Nash. This is so fucking bad. If Jace has TP, we're fighting in tight spots against Jace, Jace Poke and Talia ulti. Oh my god, this is so flip. Please, Hextech over the wall, give the lantern. Please. Oh my god, we lost the game, I think. Okay, really nice hook. Oh my god, you're faker, man. This is awesome. Please don't max your D. Please stop maxing the fucking D. It's, it's so bad, right? Like, the slow that you're getting, it's like so garbage. Like it's not worth to oh you panic with the with the locket. You should use the locket like a lot or like later. Like right na like right now, yeah, when they're fighting. E? Yeah, you really don't have reaction to actually E. And whenever you see the the Liwana's E, like even if you if you see that she's throwing it, just instant E. Just immediately E. Don't even wait. No, 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 put points in W. R is useless. R is useless. R, the damage from, and the cooldown is so useless on the R. It's so useless. Like, okay, like, how, how much, how much, like, how much of a difference can it make, right? If you have, like, more, like, less cooldown and, you know, more damage on the R. If you get the W shield, that's awesome. Man. And you should also, like, you have two items, power spike. Right now, the mobility boots become more and more useless. So, you can go either plated boots if you feel you need tankiness, but personally, I would just go cooldown reduction boots again, lucidity. Just because, again, you your job is to to protect your teammates by providing a lot of CC and making sure Cassidy and uh, Liwana don't get on the top of your carry. So having more more ease and more flays and more hooks and more lanterns is always beneficial. So this is why after two items, I would actually sell the mobis because okay, the mobis you know they were good in early game, but in this case, at this point in time. They don't really help you as much. Okay, you're recalling for words, which is quite smart. You get one word so you don't uh, use Futures Market again, which is again smart. Too much depth is definitely not good. Especially because you're playing a role that doesn't really get access to many resources inside of the game. 
and much gold, obviously. So the guy has four items. Definitely winnable. Winnable. I have to see if you're winning or not. I wouldn't really place the Zeke's on the Draven. I would just wait, and I would just place it in a fight. If I see that Arelia is in a big fight and I can like actually get more value by using it on her, I would use it in the fight, inside of the fight, just as I'm fighting, and then I would use it on the target that I know I can get the most value on. This is some, some like this is a thing that even challenger players don't do, and I don't know why they don't do it. You should be like instead of using Zeke's on one target. And hoping that that target is going to be alive in the fight, I would just wait. And when you see that, you know, the fight is breaking out, and you can just adapt. Like maybe, like it's Zeke's the, the Raven, maybe Zeke's the Zoe, maybe Zeke's the Aurelia. You can just see depending on the case. Like in this case, Zeke's on Aurelia is much better. You see this? Because you will get a lot more value, you will get a lot more damage. Because look at the Draven. Like the guy did nothing with the Zeke's, right? So this is why I would actually keep it and, you know, just use it last second. Overall, you played the, the fight pretty good. Yeah, we do not have Nash on the map, so... Can't really take it. Played quite fine, you did the locket pretty good. Your team fighting was okay here. So, fine mechanics, but rusty. Team fight, good. Early game, macro. Yeah, early game is basically the the thing that we need to improve, basically. So you should wait Aurelia to push, and unless you're hitting a hood, good hook, you shouldn't really look to fight. I think this is lost. One for one, Casa de Ninted. Yeah, it's probably lost here, I think. Oh, Aurelia has a uh, GA man. Vayne is in thing. Okay. The reason why this fight was lost is because we didn't wait Aurelia to push on, on top lane. If we had, like, waited her to push, then we just get this so easy so you should help like we should let her push top lane not fight put the word over the wall wait once she actually pushed the wave like really deep into the enemy tower then we should like look to face check on on the mid lane but only when she was around you so we should really pay attention in that case we should pay attention to the map because right now this really matters right now yeah the vein is really strong draven is also very five items man wow Guy is extremely strong. Okay. The word that Zoe just placed over the wall is better than the one that he put. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my god, that face was, would have been so bad. Because they just started Nash. Yeah, the one, the word over the wall is much better than the word, like, in this brush, by the way. Just so you know. Gives you more, a lot more value. If it's like there, that one is much better. But obviously you shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't put it right now because they saw it. They saw you like putting the word. You should sweep her here. They definitely have one word. Yeah. We have GA on Irelia, which is actually huge. Just really huge. Okay, we shouldn't face check, be careful, this is so bad. Yeah, be careful, be careful. We should stay with the team and chill, yeah. Good. Stay with the team and chill. Yeah, at this point in time, again, I will sell by the boots and get like real boots because the mobility boots are not going to help you at all in those fights. Because what are you going to do? Throw landers and throw hooks? I mean, how is the boots going to help you? Like, even played, even mercs are okay here against uh, Liwana. But yeah, I mean, cooldown reduction are the best. Plated are okay, mercs are decent. So, 
but I wouldn't really go Mercs because you're not going to get targeted in teamfights for sure. Nice try. This should be okay fight. Oh shit. You should just lock it, you shouldn't really look to flash. Yeah, this is bad. Don't think I really can really do anything there. Yeah, the game should have been lost like a while ago, really. Maxing abilities, build. We have like more things. Yeah. Right now the game is extremely difficult. I mean, it was difficult even back then because of the early game when you roam top lane and you actually try to play with the a bit too much with the mid. And then when you should stay with Draven, you didn't stay with Draven. When you shouldn't stay with Draven, you stayed with Draven. So it kind of did like opposite things. You definitely have potential. I think that if we work together, we should be able to get D2. Uh, I don't know if it's in a short period of time, but this season, yeah. It's, uh, I think it's pretty realistic, yeah. It depends how much you improve and it depends how much you play as well. But he said you play a lot, so. As long as you're not going to play on tilt, as long as you're not going to like, really play on loose streak and you're going to like try to focus on improvement and like trying to perform every single game. That's that's uh, I think it's very realistic with a little bit of help. Uh, the biggest mistakes are by far in the early game, like macro. When do we rotate? What lane do we roam? When do we roam? Those kind of things. Itemization is also pretty bad, as in we don't exactly know what. Oh my god! Nice lane. Oh my god, you guys! Crazy with this vein, man! Crazy, man! Have to be very careful. We have ocean, so it's okay. Still, they have the hex stitch. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, early game mistakes. Early game mistakes. That's basically what we need to focus on. And that thing with the plan. That one is like really, really huge as well. Because it feels like you don't think about like the plan of the game. Even though you played a lot of champions and you should be like, yeah, you are definitely a smart player and it feels like you know a lot about the game. Uh, just judging of like how many champs you played and how you really performing with this trash. Okay, so your job right now, what is it? Well, it's very simple. We need to hook someone before the fight. Protecting the Draven and playing front to back is not going to work here. It's very, very simple. You're going to hard lose because of the Cassidy scaling, Bane scaling, blah, blah, blah. So we need Flash, we need to hook someone before the fight. It could be Cassidy, it could be Vayne, it could be, it could be, but preferably it's Talia because it's the, the easiest guy to catch. Talia or Jace, because Vayne has dash, Cassidy has dash, like, okay, let's see the perfect timing hook. Oh no, man, you would have won the game. Fuck. Oh shit. Yeah, I think we lost. Yeah, it's GG. GG. Or Draven? Okay. Draven, please. Auto attack, bro. Okay, triple kill. Can they end it? They do have a little bit of a wave. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think they can end here. 
Yeah, I don't think they can end. We have kick soon. Nice E by Draven. Please use your kick, Draven. It's okay if they get one tower. If it's just one tower. Okay, he took Yuli. Okay, he played it really well. Okay, we just lost. I think he lost this game like 20 minutes ago, but our team just uh, get it. Definitely very good. You're a pretty good player, man. I like you. I really like you. I think you have potential. Perfect. So right here, when you're walking up to the to the Talia, you shouldn't really try to auto attack her, because you have hook in one second. So if you auto attack her right now, and you try to hook after, your hook is not going to reach. You see, by auto attacking her, you see what you're doing. You're actually not going to have range for the hook if you just auto attack her. So what I will do here, I will not auto attack at all. Look at this. I will just walk up to her. Just walk, walk, walk. Because by hitting, look at this. By hitting, you're giving him distance. So right. she has a higher chance to dodge the hook. This is why you should stay right here. Yes, she's going to be a bit healthier because you're not going to auto attack. But at least you're going to know 100% that you hit the hook, you know? Yeah, that makes so, sense. So you should stop hitting. This is something that, you know, a lot of players do and they don't know, even in Master Tier. Okay, 210. This one. You woke up very beautifully. Okay, I really don't like how you play this right now. So, right here, you try to play safe, wait the Draven. So in this position, we cannot give up priority against Vayne. You need to always have prior. So here you should keep hitting, keep hitting, keep hitting. Try to play for level 2. Because you're uh -huh. probably thinking, hey, but Draven wasn't in lane, so, you know, why level 2? Well, if you get level 2, just you, and they are both level 2, it doesn't matter if they are level 2, we still have to win. Because the only way they can go on us is with the Liwana EQ. But, if you have your Flay, Liwana E is completely useless, and the champion is completely useless, because you can deny and interrupt her E with your E. Hmm. Gotcha. Right? So here you should keep auto attacking in the minions, not give up priority. Look at this. It's a huge mistake. Huge mistake. We're giving up priority. He's trying to hit her. Look at this. And then here you're actually pinging the Draven. Hey bro, back off. Where right now, yeah, we need to give up the prior, but it's because 10 seconds ago, you didn't really hit the minions. Look at this. Yeah. So you should have the prior. We should have to hit, like, hit them because... If they go on us, we hard win no matter what. As long as you stay within the range of the Draven, and you can actually flay the Liwana when she goes in, you just hard core win. Like hard core win. Very, very, very important. And then here you just uh, miss the flay, I remember. You have a lot of situations like this, by the way, when you miss next like, skill shots, and this is going to hold you back. Yeah, I should not I should never miss that. Exactly. And this is not the first time. So hit the minions and get priority for level 2. Very important. If it's needed. In this case, it was needed. The first case was stop hitting auto attacks uh, and longer the distance between you and the target. Okay, 400. Zero, zero. Let's see what was this. Here! Awesome! So we pressure so hard. This is so good by you. So good, so good. Nice pressure. Nice pinging. Talia comes in. I don't like that right here. In this game, it really didn't feel like you're, you're, uh, play, you played this matchup a lot, a lot of times. Like when you see Liwana's E, right now I would E. Right here, I would E. I would expect her to know her range. Because you know that if she E's first and she Q's you and you E afterwards, you're dead 100%. Yeah. So you should E right now. Because if it happens that the hitbox hits you, she's going to get interrupted right here. And she can't hit the Q on you. And you can just run. Gotcha. Okay. So here you should be. So if I just watched 15 seconds of your gameplay and I only see this one, I will be like, this guy is not D1. Because the D1 player will respect D1. And look at this, how close this was. Extremely close. See? Yeah. So you should immediately. So the reaction time on the Liwana C wasn't there. It really wasn't there. So I need to give you a video with that. Thresh versus okay. Liwana. And then the moment when you see Draven recalling like this. How, how, what do you feel about this this recall of Draven? With full HP, I, full mana. Yeah, I I I didn't know what he was recalling for. Exactly. I believe I ended up staying here, right? Yes, yes. But the problem yeah. is that 
this Rico, you know, it's a cannon wave, so he's not going to lose much. But the problem is that he's not going to gain much as well. Like, he fears full HP, full mana. He can always think about pushing first before recalling. He can yeah. always think about pressuring more before recalling. So here, the moment when you see him recalling with full mana and full HP, ping him instantly. Assistance, assistance, danger. Like, let him know yeah. that you would like to push on more first before recalling, and then you can actually recall at the same time with him. Because right now, of course you need to stay, because they, he will recall, they will push, and you need to freeze here. Yeah. But if you ping him, we push, and we recall, bo both of us recall at the same time. And it's much, much better, because the wave is coming into you, right? You're right. And right now, because you know that after you crash a wave, the wave is coming into us, right? Yeah, of course. Exactly. So right now, it's the other way around. They will push and the wave is going to come into them. So the fact that you did not ping your AD carry to stay and you didn't take responsibility on the lane, that was bad. Because right now, Vayne gets access to free farm. So pinging the, the AD carry more about what you want to do in the lane. Ping him, him to cancel his, his recall. Very important. 510. Okay. By the way, this lantern could have been much easy, much better. You should place it like right now a while ago and then try to cast your Hextash Flash. So you want to stay here, cast your Hextash Flash. So by the time that he gets hit, you teleport him right here with the Hextash Flash. Ah, okay. Did you, did you know this? Um, no, I, I've never, I didn't think about that ever. Yeah. yeah, it's good. You can do it in base, you can do it in lane, you can do it like a lot. Challenger players always do it. Okay, right now Lee Sin tries to sneak in, in a gank. Let's see how you played here. Uh, I didn't like your positioning. Very, very good positioning. I didn't like that you didn't really try to to throw the hook from the brush. So I would stay literally here in the brush and I would throw the hook from inside of the brush. Because if they can't see the hook, it's so easy for you to hook them. Yeah. Because you waited so much. And we saw Talia like right here, you should throw the hook, throw the hook, throw the hook. Because you did it, right? But you were outside of the brush. Like, if she has a brain... She's just going to tumble, tumble, tumble. But here, if you if you hook from the brush, look at this. If you hook right now from the brush, it's so hard to tumble unless you're like good at the game. And I don't think she was. So this is why you should prioritize hitting the hooks, throwing the hooks from the from the brush. So uh, prioritize, if possible, uh, throwing the hook from inside of the brush because obviously they can't see it so they can't react to it that easy yeah 710 this was fine you stayed okay you stayed that's okay you go in you try to hook no problem the lantern was a bit greedy like it was uh, on top of him you're pushing yeah. you're pushing you're pushing you're pushing and then here you should st so where is your positioning should be one second so i can draw some some things where should your positioning should be? One, two, three. One. Where okay, why? To give them the least amount of information as possible that they could think that um, they don't know where I am. They don't know if I went in the alcove. They don't know if I've flanked into the brush at the bottom that isn't even marked. Um, Okay, but right here, all what he had to do, remember, is that he wanted to push and then recall. So right now, what are the threats of that? Because you're not really thinking, you don't have to think right now too much about, oh, I want to, you know, uh, generate pressure. I want to make them scare. No, I just, you just want to push this wave. So you should stay within the range of the Draven right here. Because the oh, only okay. threat right now is Liwana C. And if she goes and you flay instantly, she's useless completely. So you will see that exactly what you said. You did it. Look at this. You went into the brush, but guess what? Guess what? You're not here to flay. If you're yeah. here to flay her, Liwana is here, Vayne is here, we just run, we just recall, GG. I think you lost the game here, by the way. Look at this. Yeah. Double kill for the for the Draven. So if you literally stay right now and you use your E right now, like stay here and E right now, you'll probably win this. And even if you don't win this, you're not going to die. That's 100%. Because look what happened. You died, two kills on the way. Yeah. So this is when he, when he lost the game. Not at the Elder. At the Elder, the game was lost already. 
I do recommend you to watch the session again because the feedback that I gave you, you can never find it anywhere else. The feedback that I gave you on your mistakes is very personalized for your mistakes. And you're going to see yeah. everything, everything that you're going to watch there. If you learn every single thing that I, I, I showed you there, it's easily diamond two. Obviously, it's going to be very hard for you to do it by yourself because there are going to be so many things. But I really think that if you can watch like the session one or two more times, it's so amazing. Yeah, oh, I'm, I'll definitely watch it at least one or two more times. Okay, so let's I, see this one. I, uh, go ahead. Oh, please, okay. no, 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 please, Jordan. No, I was going to say, like, it's really important uh, to me that I want to get better and figure out what I'm doing wrong, because, like I said, I've, I've hit D4 a lot, and I've just, like, sat in D4, so clearly I'm not doing something better. Yes. So right now... You are, uh, again, we're not going to talk about itemization. I will give you a spoiler. The itemization was bad. The order of the okay. items was bad. Uh, what you bought was bad. When you bought it was bad. How many pinks you bought was bad. I will not give you spoilers. I will let you watch the replay. But there are lots of things uh, in terms of itemization that can be improved. So right now you're going okay. towards the Herald. So right now you have to really be careful with this decision. Because if you commit to the Herald. So maybe you can tell me a little bit more about this decision. So why, why did we go uh this bad thing like this um my my plan here when i looked is that the Irelia, the aurelia was stomping jace and aurelia had prio and i thought that if we forced a 3v3 the me Lee sin and aurelia against talia jace and uh like a level sex six or seven cassadin that it would be a hard win so i thought rift herald was free True, you're right. We have Lee Sin in the early game, he's really strong. Arela is winning really hard, uh, and also Cassidy shouldn't really be able to do anything. So, you're winning the top lane. The problem is that the number one win condition is the Draven, it's not the Herald. This is one of like the, the most common mistakes that supports do. What they try to do, they try to get the, the AD carry fed, and after they get him fed, they go mid, they try to make mid fed as well. Yeah, the problem. With that in this rank is that if you're trying to make your ADK fed 3-0 and then you go mid guess what your ADK is going to die by himself he's going to become from 3-0 3-3 yeah so in this matchup against the one vein if you let draven by himself he's going to cry so remember what i said about in the in the review that if you do this play when you have an ezreal that's awesome it's really good mm -hmm. it's correct because ezreal can stay 1v2 when you do this, when you have Sivir, whatever, who cares about Sivir? She can spell shield, farm with Q, push the lane, whatever. But in this matchup with the Draven, a champion that is designed to play aggressive, a champion that is designed to have someone with him and play for 2 versus 8, you should be staying with him. So this one was a huge mistake that you, you pet like this. First of all, you shouldn't pet like this, you should pet towards mid lane. And then after this, you basically adapt, whether you go bot or you go top. You should never pet like this right now, that early. Um, Okay. Second of all, because the guy is fighting, so you'd most likely just have to go like this and then like this. Uh, second of all, yeah, avoid avoid playing for the Herald if you have like very aggressive yeah. champ, like Evolution, Draven, Tristana. Those champs are not going to look to play safe for you. Because the Herald is not that important. If you can, like, if you can, let's say you can get the Herald and, oh, and you can get two kills on the bot lane. So if you get Herald and you can give the two kills on the enemy bot lane, or you can get two kills on the enemy bot lane, but give up Herald for the enemy team. I would always get those two kills. Herald, you know, some plays. Okay, who cares? Yeah. Because if the True. enemy team groups here, let, let, let's assume that Liwana is stupid and she goes for Herald and she takes it. And you go bot, you dive the vein, you take the plates, you take the cracks, you take one more wave. Draven is so fed, no one cares about their Herald because we're going to carry the game anyways. Yeah. So that's why we should prioritize our ADK. Because look here, what we did. We're wasting time. We shouldn't be here. Yes, Arelia is strong, but right now you're trying to get Arelia like more strong, which by the way she can do it by herself because she's two levels up. And let alone the fact that you need to be with Draven because you need to get him more ahead. He cannot play one v two. Look at the poor Draven. He's getting one like one v two pushed in. He can't do anything. So this is a huge mistake that we're still playing. In the first 15 minutes, you lost this game, by the way. Not in the in the late game. So here, you should never flash here. He's dead. The moment when he went in the brush, he's dead. You should walk up right here, flay first, he's dead. Because look at yeah. this, what you did. And then here, you miss the flay, you miss the hook, you miss everything. But again, he didn't need flash. He was just dead. Yeah. So we definitely 
and play it good. 1020 and then 2130 I want to show you something else. I want to show you two things. 2130. 2130, what was this? Oh yeah, 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 this one. Okay, here. Awesome, you flayed first. This is the first time when I saw you flaying first. Here, you should flay hook instantly. Because you see how much you're waiting? You're waiting a little bit too much. And then sometimes, sometimes, this is going to matter. If you're just going to wait and save up your hook for like two seconds, maybe the vein is going to kill your Draven. So what you're going to see that challenger players do, they just E-flay instantly. Because you want to have the yeah. highest chance possible to hit your hook. So the highest chance possible to hit your hook is after you flay, after you get your glacial augment. So here you should EQ, right here. You should E like this, Q like this, instantly. Instantly. You can also flay like this, because by the way, uh, flaying, if you flay them out of you, or if you flay them into you, I don't know if you can notice, but this is faster than this. This is more slow. Like this is more slow if you flay them away of you. If you E, uh -huh. your E goes faster. Also, with the hook here. Let's say it's here. Like this is how it has to look like. Like you instantly EQ. EQ. Mm -hmm. Like this. That makes okay, sense. Like instantly. EQ. Because they can't really humanly dodge. And then again, when you're hooking, it pulls one time, two times. But what you're doing, instead of hooking, you're just running, and then you're going, and then you're Eing. This is not good. You should hook. And then flay. You see? You don't have to go to the target. You're recasting your hook too much. Look at this. I, f I hook. This is what you're okay. not doing at all in the game, yeah. which is bad. So hooking. Flaying. And he's dead. I can ignite and I can... Because what's the difference? If I go here like this and I go like this, I'm going to get hit by this guy. But if I just hit hook and then flay, this friend can't hit me at all. Yeah. That so makes perfect sense. Super important. So there are lots of things. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video because this is the only way I can see if the content is good. Otherwise, I would not make it. Please feel free to share with me what you want to see on this channel so I can maybe make a video uh, with that. Remember that what you're seeing right now on YouTube is just a limited part of the whole coaching session. If you're serious about getting better in League of Legends, I invite you to book your personalized high quality coaching session by adding me on Discord now. More details in the description. For those who are really uh, serious about improving climbing but don't really have the financial resources to have their own coaching, if you want to get access to all of my coaching sessions and improve 10 times faster, you can subscribe to my exclusive Patreon where I post every single coaching that I do between 7 and 15 hours per day. I already have over 115 videos right there on how to climb on ADK, support, top lane, jungle, mid lane, wave management, videos for every rank. Bronze, Silver, Gold, Diamond, Grandmaster, every single rank. If you want to get full access to all of those exclusive videos and find out what are the new secrets on how to get better and how to enjoy the game even more, I invite you to click the link below or somewhere right here and make League of Legends fun again. Sign up today for as little as $5 per month if you're serious about improving. Looking forward to teaching you.